I thought of I I saw this comment which uh, from Shaurya which says sir I have a doubt related to concave mirror if concave mirror forms real image in front of the mirror then how are we able to see it in the mirror sir please cl- clear my doubt the moment i saw this i actually replied but i i just couldn't stop myself from making this video because i had the exact same doubt and i don't have i don't have time to use my mic and all of that i just wanted to make this video very quickly uh, to clear that doubt um, so anyways it's a beautiful question and how do i answer that so i thought the best way is actually to have a concave mirror in front of me but i don't have a concave mirror right now i have something similar so i'll tell you what i have i have an arrow mark which is going to be my object and then i have a bottle which acts like a lens this is a con- convex lens convex lens also produces real image right so the same question whatever question shaurya asks will be applying over here also so if i look at that arrow mark through the lens you can see it's a real image because you can see the arrow mark is flipping right the lens is so the question now shaurya's question is very similar over here if this is a real image it is supposed to come out outside the bottle it should be somewhere over here but when i look at it it appears to be inside the bottle <laughs> why does this real image appear to be inside this bottle when i'm looking at it so that's the question we're going to try and answer to answer that question i'm going to counter it by asking another question shaurya why do you think that whatever you saw earlier um, or whenever you're seeing inside the concave mirror why do you f- think that that object is inside the mirror why do you think that it's inside the mirror and why do you think it's not outside the mirror and now i'm going to just like assume that if i were sure i would say that but mahesh it looks like it's inside the mirror <laughs> that's why i think that it's inside the mirror but then my answer to you is sure yeah listen our brains don't we don't have experience in looking at these real images we have experience in looking at objects right and from that we have experience to see whether something is closer to us or farther away from us and for that my question now would be how do i know in general whether something is closer to me or farther away from me so whenever i look at objects around so i'm just going to look at objects around how do you know whether something is closer to you or whether it is farther away from you i my answer could be but mahesh i just know i just know by looking at things i know that things are closer to me or not but not really not really for example if you look at stars do you know which star is closer to you or which is farther away forget about stars if you look at sun and the moon i mean just by looking at the sun and the moon and nobody told you that the moon was closer to you and sun is farther away just by looking at the sun and the moon can you tell that sun is farther away and clo- moon is closer to you no i i don't think so you can tell just by looking at them that's why it took us a long time to figure out all those things are in the in the first place so just by looking at things our brains can't tell whether something is closer or something is farther away so then how do we know in general well in general what happens is we know the size of the objects so if they are big we can sort of assume that they are close to us we 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 see shadows we look at the 3d environment we use all of those clues to understand whether something is closer to me or something is farther away but when it comes to real images that you are seeing inside the concave mirror or the one that you saw or the real image that you are seeing probably i don't know whether you can see that okay the real image that you are seeing over here you don't get those clues because they don't have shadows and this is something different so we need So the question is if you didn't have shadows and all of those things what's the best way to check whether something is closer to you or farther away from you how do you do that well there is a method called parallax okay so the parallax method is like this now let's consider my finger and the red water bottle that you see over there i want to know which is closer of course now you know that my finger is closer but let's say i didn't know that what could you do to see which is closer what you can do is you can start moving the camera you can just start moving and as you move the camera you can see that the finger and the water bottle start moving in the opposite direction as i move to the right the water bottle and the finger move to the left if i move to the left the water bottle and finger move to the right but which one moves more can you see that the finger moves more see very quickly the finger moves out of the screen also the water bottle is still there similarly if i move it to the left notice very quickly the finger moves more and moves out of the screen so the finger is moving much faster or appears to move much faster than the water bottle in fact the things that are farther away they don't move much uh, compared to the, the things that are closer that's the reason why moon for example when you're moving appears to be just there it doesn't move much because it's very very far away so we can use this trick so if i want to know whether something is closer or something is farther away you can use like a finger keep it close to you and you can use your finger to figure out um keep it at some position and figure out whether their object is moving faster than your finger or not now over here notice that the water bottle 
is my finger is moving faster than the water bottle therefore i know the water bottle is farther away but if i kept like this okay like this let's see okay 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 i keep like this all right now notice the water bottle moves faster can you see that can you see that let's see let's see the water bottle goes out the water bottle is going out that's how i know that my finger now is the water bottle is now closer to me closer to me than my finger does that make sense this means i can use my finger and i can look at the real image now and i can see which one is moving faster and i'm sorry why am i spinning i'm so excited but anyways i can use my finger and i can use the the image i can put them and i can do this parallax thing and i can see which one moves faster and from there i can see whether that real image is closer to me or farther away from me and we can do that experiment i want you to pause the video and if you have a concave mirror shaurya with you and if you have access to it do it do this experiment use your finger whatever i just showed you and see if you can convince yourself whether from that whether that image is closer or farther away from you this is a beautiful experiment and whatever i show you from the camera it does not capture what you see with your real eyes but anyways um pause this video and try um now i'm going to now i'm going to do the same experiment with my water bottle all right here we go here we go so i have i have my arrow mark i want to know whether the arrow mark is is um inside the real this this real image is inside the water bottle or outside the water bottle okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take take my finger and i'm going to keep this finger touching the water bottle my finger now is touching the water bottle now i'm going to move and if the arrow mark moves faster then i know the arrow mark is closer than my finger which means the arrow mark is outside the water bottle are you ready for this are you ready for this okay let's do this what do you see what do you see can you see that the arrow mark let's look at this i'm going to touch the bottom of the arrow mark the arrow mark is moving faster than my finger it is moving faster than my finger so what does that mean ooh that means that the arrow mark is actually closer than my finger it means it is actually outside the water bottle and if you want to know exactly where it is what you can do is you can try to move your finger behind and see at what point they move together ooh ooh i think this is the point they move together let me try to see they're almost moving together they're almost moving together which means this is the point where the arrow mark is and so where is that oh notice that is actually outside the bottle so this image is actually outside the bottle it's not inside the bottle it's outside real images are formed outside and if i kept the screen over there then i would be able to capture that on the screen as well so this was a long <laughs> answer absolutely unedited video because i didn't have the patience to do that i just wanted to quickly do this video and just share it with you all right, all right so and i don't know how much sense i made i'm not going to edit anything i'm just going to upload this and hopefully hopefully um it answers your question so let me know shaurya all right bye